Hello guys and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and shared our poems with everyone. And overall, it went pretty good. Uh, from what I remember, Sayori and Monica really liked our poems. Uh, Natsuki thought it was okay, and Yuri thought it was okay as well. So, nobody thought it was bad. So, I mean, that's good. Anyways, in this episode, we're just gonna go ahead and hang out in the club for the rest of the day and just see what happens. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and MC did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I, I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And MC and MC liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> That's not what I. Uh, you're you're just being. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that MC appreciates my advice more than you appreciated yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would get to... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as MC started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. MC! She... she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, MC. W wait there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the, m and meaning the most eff effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, MC? Um... Well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more li highly of me. So of course that's gonna be... Well... I'm not sure if I... Agree with either of them, particularly. And we are going on Sayori's route, so... Help me, Sayori. Natsuki... Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. S so instead, I turn to Yuri. Y Yuri! But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. 
Sayori. Eh? Y yeah Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? MC. Well, that's just her problem. This isn't about her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I... I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems? They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same they always were. Big and beautiful. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll... make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president, I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, but I, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayori's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica, smi Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good precedent, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Fortunately, she doesn't have a root, so we're just kind of stuck. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. MC, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job at impressing those I want to impress. So yeah. This is for people who don't know or haven't really caught on that cutesy words, Natsuki, more, bigger, bolder... Uh, words are for Yuri, and Sayori, uh, like Monica mentioned earlier, likes a bit of a mix of happy and sad things. I nod to myself with newfound determination. MC, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly really has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew! You know, MC, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught up to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? I'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I've said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. 
Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Maybe I should start, uh, since MC is being less, like, relaxed and stuff and getting more pumped up about this. Maybe I should start making his voice less, like, Hey there, how's it going? It's me, MC. Anyways, poem minigame number two. We're done with chapter one. Uh, now, we just follow the same procedures we did before. So for Sayori, we're gonna go with... Uh, adventure? Yeah. Then we're gonna go with... Daydream. And then... Uh, we're gonna go with... Forgive. Then we're gonna go with... Is Boop, Sayori, or Natsuki? Ah, it's Natsuki, dang it. Uh... Hope. And then we're gonna go with... Remember, Monica said that, uh, Sayori might also like a mix of sad stuff, so... Or no, is Grief? I think Grief might be... No, that is Sayori, okay. I was mixed between whether that's a Sayori or a Yuri word. Uh... Joy. And then... Amazing. I don't know if my microphone picked up on the motorcycle that just went by my house, but... Uh... Sadness, okay. And then... Let's see. Also, uh, interesting thing is Natsuki's words are usually... Uh, like, if you see a word that's a clothing item, like a skirt, are usually her words. Sing is Sayori. And then... Treasure might be Natsuki, or Yuri, or I feel like it could be any. So I'll hope that's Sayori. Yes! Then... Excitement? Yeah, and then... Jumpy. Dang it! Seeing Jumpy just makes me think of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. I know it's, uh an actual word, jumpy, but that's just what my brain immediately goes to, because we just finished up the that as our previous Let's Play. I think I'll, uh, from this point out, unless I have something, like, really important to say, I'll stop with the Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors comparisons. Because I don't want people to feel left out if they haven't seen that LP. Music. And then... Lucky. Rain cloud. Lazy. Uh, I think loud is Natsuki. Play? Yeah, and then... Cry, we know, is one. And then awesome. Okay, I think that is a perfect... Or not per a perfect Sayori poem, but rather a poem that leans much more heavily to Sayori, a poem that Sayori would love. A perfect one would be if I got all of the words, which I think I just missed one. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club, the usual scene greets me. Hi, MC! Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. It's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that, all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah! Sayori Richard. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club. 
So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry, so that only leaves one the one option. Ugh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, then that means you deserve to feel guilty. Just put the Ace Attorney music over that. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? They didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah! ah I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell MC to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a, mis a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah! Did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Ugh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think of that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Kya! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... eh? A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Oh. Sayori suddenly claps her, clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite out of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh. Sayori leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots off to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ah, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything of her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I, ha I haven't either. Hmm. That that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope, I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What hold you up, anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. D 
to be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. P piano I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, well, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play some time for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe, maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, MC. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean to pressure her or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous ex escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will s end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. And here's where we're going to get to uh, hanging out with Sayori again for today. So I think this is a good place to end off the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.